Every year in the U.S., 20,000 injured people bleed to death before reaching the hospital. Thousands more bleed out on battlefields around the world. When people are wounded and bleeding significantly, like bleeding to death, transfusion at the point of injury is what's required to stabilize them and limit other organ injury and improve the likelihood of survival. Funded by a $46 million grant from DARPA, the Defense Research Projects Agency, Dr. Alan Doctor is leading an effort to develop an artificial blood product to keep people alive until they can be treated. Led by the University of Maryland Schools of Medicine and Pharmacy, a consortium of scientists around the country will be involved in the project, which has the potential to save countless lives. We're calling it a whole blood analog, so it's not intended to replace blood, but to push transfusion service out where blood can't go. So it's not designed to replace blood where blood is available, but to make blood therapy or transfusion therapy available where blood is not an option. Donated human blood is only viable for about 40 days and requires cold storage. The artificial blood will be storable at room temperature for easy use by medics in the battlefield and by civilian paramedics. There's an estimate that about 70 to 80 percent of people who bleed to death either in a military setting or in a pre-hospital setting had survivable injuries. So of the people that are dying from hemorrhage, they have recoverable injuries if only we could get them to the place where a surgeon could look after them and emergency physicians can stabilize them. Artificial red blood cells, platelets, and plasma have already been developed. The goal now is to combine the synthetic components to create a safe and effective freeze-dried blood product. Medics can carry this in an ambulance to their scenes and carry it around all day for months so that it's stable. And then the moment they need it, they reach for the bag and the expectation is that we would be twisting it to shake it up and release some water. It would mix and they would hang it right away. And so they would be able to give a transfusion even inside a car before the, somebody was even extracted. Machine learning software and advanced simulations will be used to test the prototypes in models of complex trauma with multiple complications. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.